Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Joe here, uh, Daily Linux Ireland. So today we're going to talk about how to pass multiple lists to a function and compare them. It's quite a handy piece of work because you could have uh, data that you're working with from multiple sources and you want to pass them into lists and then compare them. What we'll, this will do is help you to achieve that and then basically get the output and see what's different. Now there's two bits to this video today. We obviously have just two here and over here. We have uh, where we're comparing three lists, but we're going to look at the one for two lists today. Get the basics of that. The one for three lists is actually very, very similar, but it just has a slight tweak in some of the code. But let you take, let's take you through the code and see what's going on. So you're you're facing a scenario where you basically have two lists. Okay. So by visual inspection, we have list one here, and we have list two. Okay. Now. Quite obviously, it's quite clear from looking at that straight away, the difference between the list and the value wise is the value six. So we know that six is in here, not in list one, but it's in list two. So the first thing to do, we need to, well, there's a couple of things we need to do is we need to set up the function, okay? So the, what the function does is, the function is gonna take in the lists, compare them, and then show you what's the difference between the two lists. So what we've done is we declared the function here, of compare lists, and we've given it two parameters, A and B. Uh, so what A and B are, are basically uh, what's being passed into the function to be compared. Okay. And basically what we've done here is then the next line is value Z. And Z is just a variable that will give us the output when we basically are finished running the function. Now, if you're familiar with list com comprehension, um, this is how we achieve uh, comparing the lists. But what we're doing here is using list comprehension. And essentially what it's doing here is let's break this down a bit so x for x is basically x is just a, a variable to say look at the lists and say look at each value in the list and assign it to x and then basically what it's doing is saying is so for each value of x um that's basically being created um it's saying look for that value x in b now we know that this is a and this is b okay and basically what it's saying if x is in b and this value x is not an A, return that value. So essentially, if we were to go through this, um, we were to say when this logic runs, it says one is there, one is there. So it doesn't return anything. Two is there, two is there, three is there, three is there, four is there, four is there, five is there, five is there. So essentially at this point up to five, it's found everything in list two, which is assigned here to this parameter B and basically um, said we're all okay nothing's different but now it's come to value six and essentially what it's done is it has said that basically is this six in list one uh, which is this parameter a and the answer is no so when this logic runs it will basically return the value six in the output as a difference so the final step this logic, we'll run it now in two seconds. The final step in this logic is actually to execute the function. So what the function is doing is you're doing compare lists here. So we compare this. So compare list, the function is expecting two parameters, right? So these are your parameters. These are your arguments. So the arguments that we're passing in are actually list one and list two, which are these two up here. So what basically happens is list one and list two get passed in. It basically assigns list one as A, and list two is B. And that's how then when the logic up here runs in the list comprehension, it knows what to look for and what values to compare and then basically what to, the, to throw out as a difference. So let's actually look at this logic here now. Give me two seconds. We'll run this. Okay, so there, here we go. On the screen below, you'll see a value of six and that's what we're expecting. It's processed with, is finished with no errors as well. So essentially, what just to go back over this, what the logic has done is, it's it said, look for each value of x in b, which is this. Go and check if that value of x is in a, which is list one, which is a here in this parameter. And basically, as I said, it goes through each one. It says, is it found? Is it found? Is it found? And all the way up to five, it is. But six here in b, which is list two, is not found in list one, which is parameter a. And therefore, it throws out that value there. Okay, so that's how you would compare two lists. But what happens if you have three lists? So say you want to have one list and you want to say, is for, for a scenario which I'm going to show you, is, it in, is there a value in this one list which is not in either of two other lists? Well, let's have a look at that now. It's very, very similar logic, 
but there is a slight difference in the list comprehension. So if we go through that now, I'll explain that to you. Okay, so again, what we have here is a basis, a second uh, scenario where you have three lists, okay? And again, we're just defining them as list one, two, and three, like we did in the previous example. And here then we have same function again. At this time now we have three parameters, all right? So what we're doing is we're passing three lists into the function for comparison. Brilliant, excellent. And basically here's your arguments, list one, two, and three, and they reference just these values up here. So pretty much the same as the previous one. The difference is we're still using the list comprehension, but what we're doing is we're basically saying, so this is parameter, this is parameter A, this is parameter B, and this is parameter C. So what we're basically doing is we're saying for each value of uh, X in B, which is this list here, okay? Check, is it in this list or is it in this list? Okay, that's all we're doing. And how that is achieved if, if X not in A, which is this list here, and X not in C, which is this list, then print Z. Now remember, this is an AND statement. So for this to be basically um, come to true and print out a value, it has to be not in both. So there are scenarios here where you can see that in list three, there is seven, eight, nine, but that's not in either of these lists, but we're actually not checking for that. What we're checking is in this list, is this list basically, is there a value in here that's not in either of these lists, okay? And the value there is six. So when we run this, um, I'll just rerun this now for you. There you go, again. Again, it brings us back the value of six. So just to remember that um, you can change this, um, but I put in an and statement. If we put in an or, let's just, let's see what happens here. Um, so there you go, four, five, six, all right? Uh, you can change that again, we'll just change that back to and. But the whole, the whole idea about this is when the list comprehension that you can basically put in ifs and ands to basically match what you're actually trying to compare. And then basically um, that will give you back the output in the screen here as to what the differences are between the lists. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. That is a, a scenario where you can take in multiple lists, assign them um, to uh, arguments, pass them to parameters in a function, and then using this comprehension, the function will tell you what are the differences between the lists. So that's just a, an example. I hope it's useful for any of your data analytics or Python projects. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. We're getting closer to 100 videos soon on the channel and we're over 800 subscribers, so we're growing all the time. Um, so yeah, hit that uh, like and subscribe as I said, you should get future videos. Thanks for coming along. I hope you all keep well and we'll see you soon. Take care, goodbye.